Hey you guys, it's Lucinda Carroll. So, I am going to be painting this Easter Bunny that I purchased from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be painting it a diva pink. And I purchased this um, Appleboro paint from Walmart. They're like 50 cent for a tube. So, I really like purchasing this paint. Um, but I'm going to paint this, and if you probably saw my video earlier where I was doing my Easter wreath for my front door, I'm actually going to paint this pink, and I'm going to add this bunny rabbit to that wreath. So, let's get started on this project. I really do like this color pink. It is... It really, um, it really is going to go well with my theme this year. Um, my colors are going to be yellow and yellows and turquoise and pink and light blue, baby blues. So I'm really, 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 really liking this pink. It's just amazing how you can take simple little things, especially like this from Dollar Tree, and once you've painted it and added it to um, your Easter decor, how cute it turns out. I weren't going to paint the sides of this, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do so because it looks like it's going to overlap. And this, this bunny rabbit is really thin. See how paper thin it is? So just be careful when you are, you know, handling it that you don't break it because it's very flimsy, as you can tell. Um, but again, for the price, a dollar, and to add it to a wreath or even something in your home if you wanted to decorate you know in your home I'm not too worried about the hole up at the top um, Because again, I'm going to add this to my wreath, so I don't I don't think I'll need the hole. But if I do, um, I can just go back in and punch a little hole in it. It's very flimsy, very very flimsy. So when you're painting it, you need to kind of hold it with one hand. Again, I'm going around these edges, and listen, I think I just heard it crack. Okay. That's how flimsy it is, so just be careful when you are painting it. I'm not too worried about the back side of it. Again, it's going on my reef, so you're not going to be able to tell the back side. Um, I really do need to purchase some gloves. So, if any of you ladies are out there and you 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 wear acrylic nails and you craft, um, just give me some ideas. I mean, right now, I mean, with the paint that I'm using, it, it comes off really easy. But I have seen some of my YouTube friends actually use gloves, and I'm not sure if I want to use gloves when I'm crafting. But, it looks like it may come down to that because I really get a lot of paint in my acrylic nails. See, see all this? Um, I'm going to press out a little bit more and go over. 
the foot. I have some little cotton balls that I'm gonna add for the tail once it dries. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys a really fast technique that I picked up from, again, some crafting friends on my YouTube channel. And I'm just making sure I'm going around the edges pretty good. So I have these edges over here done. So this is already cracked on me. So <sighs> what can you do? What can you expect for a dollar? But anyhow, I think it's cute. You can tell where it's cracked, see? So be careful when you are, again, um, painting this because it will crack on you. I have hot glue stuck to my nails. <sighs> anyhow, um, I don't think I'm going to go over it with a second coat. It looks pretty covered to me. And I am satisfied. I am though going to go back over these edges a little bit. Um, to make sure I get those good. I'm sorry guys. didn't realize I was out of focus. Um, but, I think that's pretty much it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab, and I don't know if anybody's ever told you this, or if you haven't seen it on another YouTube channel. This is absolutely wonderful for little projects like this. But, excuse the noise, but if you have a hair dryer, an old hair dryer, just keep this baby up. I know, it's cheating. I'm impatient. But the little projects like this, I'm okay with using my hair dryer. Know if you can hear me sorry um i was saying that for little projects like this i don't mind using the hair dryer but when it's a big project i'm not going to i'm not going to use my hair dryer and try to dry everything i'll just let it dry overnight but something like this i'm going to quick and it's dry all right so now I'm going to use my hot glue gun and I'm going to cotton balls purchase these at Walmart the these are great for bunny tails Okay, because nobody's told you that. You can get the large, however big you want it. Um, I'm just going to go with a small. I'm doing the small one. And I'm going to put my little, you could play with it a little bit to try to, you know, mm, fluff it out or and then just add you some hot glue to the bottom of this bunny tail and lay on your board and there you have it now 
Okay, so one more thing before I finish this project. I was actually, I actually forgot that I had this. And I'm hoping it's going to fit. But, happy Easter, y'all. So, I'm going to peel this off. I had this from a I had this from a paint party I done back at Christmas and um I said well why not add it to my bunny rabbit so I'm just gonna lay this on here that is not a good way to smooth out vinyl on a project your little tool from if you are a Cricut person or silhouette I recommend you using this to blend and make sure you've got everything stuck to the board so now I'm going to peel this off Some of the letters look like they don't want to come up. Just go back over it, press them again, and they should lift up. Alrighty. Okay, you guys. And I think that turned out absolutely gorgeous. Happy Easter, y'all. So I'm going to, again, if you were watching my video earlier, I'm going to add this to my wreath. And once I've got everything put together, then I will come back up here once I've got all of my Easter decor out so that you can see how everything come together. So I hope you like this simple project. Um... Again, I um, these are some of the colors that I'm using for Easter, and I'll actually show you. Again, I, I've, I've, I'm in love with this fabric. I'm in love, love, love with it. And um, these are some of the colors that I'm using for Easter this year. And, of course, the bunny rabbit goes with that and the turquoise writing. So, if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up. And listen, subscribe to my channel. And um, like I say in all my videos, I don't upload two and three videos a week. Um, but I do try to get up here at least once a week or every two weeks I try to get up here and upload some videos for you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this project. And I hope that you feel inspired to start working on some Easter uh, decor for your home at a cheap and reasonable price. All right, you guys, have a great day.